Hey guys, Troy Eckenrode. Giant Shore, Shoe Center in Cape Coral, Florida. Today in another episode of Shop Talk, we're going to be talking about suppressors, and in particular, Surefire suppressors, and why John and I both really, really like these items. So I have right here is the Surefire Legacy suppressor, which means it was the very first rifle suppressor, the FA556212. It's their full size dedicated 556 can in flat dark earth. It also comes in black. Uh, the decibel rating for this is around 140 decibels, so it's right, right mm -hmm. below OSHA here, hearing safe level. Uh, I love this can, super durable. I've had it for about five years, I think now. Okay. So, no, six. Six years? Six Ooh. years. Six years, yeah. So, I'm, I love it. It's super durable. It doesn't add a lot of weight to the front end of the gun, which I really like. Just considering on what size platform you have, you know. Uh, I'm running the Surefire 762RC2. So this is a SOCOM series, it's the SOCOM 2 model. Um, a lot of twos in there, right? SOCOM 2, RC2, 762. Uh, this is a 30 caliber can, so I can run it on 5.56 guns, 308, 300 blackout, things like that. A little bit more versatile, but as you can see, a little bit bigger. Uh, so, weighs a little bit more. Um, what's really nice though, is it does <coughs> allow me to run it on multiple systems. Uh, it's kind of a big benefit there. Um, I've had this can for a little over a year now, been putting it through all its paces, really, really testing out the product. Um, decimal ratings, obviously that's going to vary on caliber and, and everything like that, uh, but right around hearing safe, just under uh, in the outdoor setting. If I'm running subs 300 blackout, it's really quiet in the one, one low 30s, high 20s even, so you can get really quiet with that. One of the things I really like about Surefire is one, their locking collar yeah. and their minimal impact shift, right? Their zero shift. So one of the things we always have to worry about with suppressors in general is zero shift, right? We'll zero a rifle for whatever distance, throw a can on it, and you might have a shift of an inch all the way up to a foot, depending upon, you know, the, the, the suppressor, the gun, all that stuff. Um, but one thing about Surefire, and the reason why SOCOM chose them to be their number one suppressor is the shift. There's almost none. Um, I've never really seen a huge shift, maybe about an inch or so at most out of, out of, out of a gun. The biggest thing that I like their locking system. The locking system on these are actually really interesting, and I've never really had a can stuck on to where I couldn't at least unlock the locking collar. I've had a car can carbon locked on there a little bit. Um, and if you don't know what that means, a lot of carbon will build up onto the muzzle device of the firearm itself. Um, I'd still be able to undo the locking lug, the collar, but I couldn't get it off the muzzle device. A couple of rounds down, heated it back up just a little bit, was able to pop it right off. Um, these go on the gun really simple with mine uh, pretty much open up your locking collar okay uh, you'll take your whatever rifle you use put it on lock in lock and lug rotate the, the collar it's on we don't have to worry about it shoot all day long you're good to go when it's time to take it off you'll undo you'll push the button in rotate the collar take the cam right off um, as simple as that I know yours is a little bit different you want to run us through that it's a little bit different um, you have to set this one up at the 12 o'clock position where there's a little dimple on top. Make sure that that's at the 12 o'clock position and there's also a dimple inside with actually like a single tooth that lines up with a slit that's in the muzzle device. Line it up. Make sure it doesn't wiggle around, it doesn't twist all the way around and just lock the collar. You're good to go. 
Yeah, you want to hear Ratchet Ratchet on, yeah. Hear Ratchet on. The uh, SOCOM series has, it doesn't have a dimple on top, it has a, it's more like a two tooth prong system in, internal. Yeah, there's a little, little groove yeah. that it falls into on the bottom of the uh, the muzzle device, yeah. This one has, I'm not sure, where is that? Yeah, it has, it has the same type of dimple that sticks up and lines up with the bottom cut on the bottom of the muzzle device. And that's what helps lines it up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, having your suppressor lined up is huge because obviously you don't want a baffle strike, blow up, blow up the suppressor. That would be a devastating. Or shoot it off. Yeah, shoot it off, right? <laughs> when you don't want to, right? right. You don't want to. Exactly. Besides Surefire, there's only another handful of other companies that are trusted and used in the world. The, the operators, the guys who have used these in the real world love them to death and they work really well. Um, as far as decimal, I know you kind of talked about yours, mine though, uh, that depends on the gun itself, what, what caliber it is, right? Where we could be talking one high 30s all the way down to the low 120s, right? It really depends on that. Now, OSHA, what they say, Hearing safe is 140 decimals. It's one single impact at 140 decimals. Um, a lot of people don't know that, so it's kind of important that we talk about that. Now, one nice thing about Surefire uh, is their muzzle devices. They come in a handful of different flavors. You get everything from a three-prong flash hider to even four-prong. Uh, I know you're running something different, John. Yeah, I'm running the uh, MB556K, which is their legacy muzzle device mm -hmm. attachment system. Uh, it's a muzzle brake, two port. Um, it also has a small port right here and another port on the other side. So this is actually meant for right-handed shooters. Mm -hmm. So it's actually mitigating a little bit of pressure, counteracting rightwards in order to push the gun back left. Yeah. Now the reason the reason why I wear uh, I use the muzzle brakes mm -hmm. is because I know muzzle brakes are very very loud. Yeah, they're loud. Super loud, <laughs> and they also kick out a fireball. So I run this during the daytime, and say if I have to shoot at nighttime, throw the can on it, slap a can yeah. on. You know, it, it hides all that. Guys, this is Troy. John Shore. <laughs> hey guys, this is Troy. John. Check us out at shootcenter.com for all of our upcoming products, all of our upcoming classes and everything like that. Check us out Facebook, Instagram as well. Subscribe for more videos. Till next time, we'll see you on the range. See you in the shop.